the Spanish Grand Prix at Durama saw the introduction of a package of new regulations that outlawed the in vogue high air boxes and reduced the size of the rear wings. Undeterred, Hunt managed again to secure pole position ahead of Lauda. Well now James, they've changed the regulations concerning the air boxes and the wings and yet you're still extremely fast. How do you do it? Big balls. <laughs> Forget it. Can't you print that? Yeah, do it again. Just keep going. Keep going. No, no, no. He's, he's, he's buggering about. We but can't it's print. true. <laughs> I told the UPI man that and he thought I was taking the piss. <laughs> so did we. <laughs> Are we rolling? Alright, we'll do that. Alright. James, they've now, since they've changed the regulations concerning the airbox and the wing, you're still managing to put up fantastic times. How have you done it? Well, I think McLarens knew what they were doing. You know, they, they know their car very well and they were able to interpret um, the change, the effect that the changes on moving the wing and the airbox and things would have on the car and anticipate it because we did a little bit of testing but probably less than almost anybody else and the car went very well straight away. The visit of King Juan Carlos of Spain shortly before the start of the race provided another distraction before the cars were flagged off in the traditional way. Lauda once again got the drop on Hunt off the line, beating him to the first corner and accelerating further ahead with the revolutionary six-wheel Tyrrell of Depaye in third place. The turning point in the race came on lap 32. In increasing pain from a fractured rib, sustained when a tractor mower overturned while he was mowing his lawn, Lauda was beginning to slow. Sensing a weakness, Hunt made his move and passed him on the inside, going on to win comfortably by more than 30 seconds. <laughs> 